you get your contacts into command, you're going to notice that you're going to want to use some filtering options. So if I click on contacts, you might just start by sorting your um, columns by clicking there and you can sort. This is a, a simple way just to kind of look at things. So for example, let's just say I, I go, you know, I want to see all of my contacts that don't have a phone number. Well, if you click on that column, it'll sort by blank first and you can go down that way. Or if you want to find everybody that doesn't have a tag or you want to find everybody that doesn't have an email. But what you need to do in order to do that is you need to um, customize your columns so that you've got the ability to see certain things, okay? So this over here is filters and filters is going to allow you to look at all, maybe you want to look at only leads that are captured, only leads that are connected, only leads that have been qualified. Maybe I want to look at only, only contacts that are tagged by one of these tags. So we have system tags, we have custom tags, we can sort by company, we can sort by created. Look at this, show me all contacts or leads that were created within the last week or longer than a year ago, right? Longer than 365 days, six months. So if, if you're having a, hey, let's call all of our um, older leads today marathon with your team or you're doing it yourself, that would be a great way to do that. Let me see all leads that came in from Facebook ads or from whatever source I want. How about all leads that, same with being modified. So think about it. If they haven't been modified in longer than three months, then nothing is happening. So that's also a great project to go through to say, hey, let me go look at all of my leads that haven't been modified. Like I haven't added anything or changed anything in all that time. So let me, let me check in on that and see if there's anything new. Maybe I'm going to hop over to their Facebook profile and see if there's anything going on or any, or, or some blanks that I have that I need to go ahead and modify. So this isn't going to be activity, but it's going to be when you've actually modified that contact record. And generally speaking, if you're engaging a lot with a contact, there's a good chance you're adding tags, you're adding smart plans, neighborhood nurtures, birthdays, home anniversaries, escrows, pipelines, you know, opportunities. If not, then that might be something to look at. Last contacted, that would be when's the last time you reached out. All right, we've got last visited, which is, um, I believe that one's the customer engagement. I'll have to play with that one a little bit. Um, show me everybody that has a birthday within the next 30 days. That You guys, uh, this is a marketer's dream right here. Show me everybody that's got a birthday in the next 30 days. So now you can sit down and send out cards, either handwriting or using a company like I do with send out cards, or you can send gifts to your VIPs, or maybe you want to send a text message or a call or Facebook or make a video. This is going to allow you to do that. I mean, what again, as a rainmaker, as a make agent, what a great thing this is going to be for my agents to say, hey, Dave and Krista, every week, why don't you pop up there and see who's having birthdays in the next seven days? And that gives you a reason to reach out. Now you're now you're uh, touching them and making a contact, which is which is keeping your database moving. And, you know, I personally think two hours a day in your database can be your lead gen time. And that can be for doing things like adding birthdays, home anniversaries, neighborhoods, neighborhood nurtures, sending out your listing um, marketing to buyers. You know, there's, oh my goodness, so, many, so much opportunity here. Primary phone number, primary email, has neighborhoods. Look at this. Look at this. Everybody who does not have a neighborhood assigned. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know that was there until this minute. Everybody doesn't have a neighborhood assigned. So now you can go do all your neighborhood nurtures. I wonder if we could do and, and, if they have an address and they don't have a neighborhood nurture. Well, ooh, ooh, hold on, let's look. What does primary address? All right, I'm gonna have to play with that one because we could just say everybody that doesn't have a neighborhood nurture and then sort by, by uh, just sort the column so that all addresses show up on top. So that's one way to do it. I often use if and, if and, 
So if they have an address and they have not been signed in neighborhood nurture, then show me the results. I have to play with that to see how much this actually does. Ownership, owned by me or shared by me. So if I've shared um, contacts with my team, I've shared them with David, and all I want to do is go see how David is doing with his contacts, you know, of course, we have opportunities. We can look at the stages. But if I wanted to go one by one, I can go in and look at look at it that way. Ownership type, assigned or owned. I don't know. I have to play with that one. So this is super, super exciting. So that that is what you're going to do with your filters. Now, you can customize your columns here by saying, you know what? All I want to see is the names, the email, the address, right? And then you go into filter and you filter who doesn't have a neighborhood nurture. Let's try it. Neighborhood nurture has neighborhoods. No. Apply. And then sort by primary address top to bottom. Boom. There we go. So now I just go through. Oh, you know what else I would do here? So I've got, I can see that I have real estate agents on this list. That, that, so I might want to um, bring in my tags. So I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to do customized columns, sorry. And I'm going to do tags because I need to see if they're agents or not. Okay, right? So now I can go through and pick all those ones that have addresses and start putting them on a neighborhood nurture if I want to, if it makes sense to do so.